Hey guys, it's Lauren and in today's video I'm going to share with you what I picked up from Whole Foods. I'm trying to up my game with this crazy flu that's going around, so I recently made some bone broth, but I almost used it all up already. Um, and then I am also running low on my lemons um, when I make my lemon, apple cider, vinegar, cinnamon, honey drink. I have a, I'll link it down below, I have a recipe for that on my website. Um, but I need some more lemons, garlic, all my like remedies to um, help me, you know, build up my immune system and fight off the crazy flu that's coming um, all around. So um, I thought I'd share with you what I got. I also bought some other things as well. Tonight, um, this probably won't go up tonight, but tonight um, the Grammys are on and the season finale of Shameless, which is my favorite show. Let me know in the comments if you guys watch Shame Shameless, but the season finale is on tonight, so I wanted to get some like special stuff to eat. Um, because like one of my favorite things is like watching my favorite show with my favorite snacks. So I picked up some stuff for that too. So I'll just share with you what I got. And yeah, I feel like that was the longest intro of all time, but what's new, I feel like I always make the longest intros. All right, so the first thing I got is this whole pasture roaming chicken. It's in this bag because I don't know if this happens to you guys if you get meat at Whole Foods, but the last time I got a chicken, this happened too. They don't like wrap it enough in the paper and the chicken's leg was like sticking out. So I had to ask the cashier person for like a bag. But anyways, I got an amazing deal on this chicken. Um, it's probably still gonna be on sale because I bought this about a week ago and it was at this price. So hopefully I'll get this posted in the next few days and you guys can check with your local store but they had the um, whole chicken for $2.99 a pound for pasture chicken so I got an entire chicken let's see this was almost a three pound chicken for $8.90 which I think is crazy I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge though um, just because I don't want my chicken going bad so if you're like how do you eat an entire chicken yourself if you're just one person um, I cook the chicken and then I eat it um, and freeze some of it and it freezes really well um, and I add it to soups or um, like fried rice or different things like that um, like the frozen chicken so I usually eat about half um, like fresh and then I freeze the other half and then I use the bones of course to make bone broth so if you think about it like I'm getting all that chicken and like tons of broth and like think about how much that would cost if you bought like the broth and then just like chicken breast so it's such an amazing deal um, Okay, next, oh my gosh, they packed so much into this bag. I love these little miniature bags, little Whole Foods bags, but I got four lemons. These were only 50 cents and they're really nice looking and big, so got four lemons. I already have two left in the fridge. I got a really big um, sweet potato. This one's organic. Uh, I don't usually get organic sweet potatoes, but that's all they had. So it's kind of expensive, so I only got one, but I was really craving sweet potato. Next, I got some organic capers. I make this um, meal. Let me know if you want a recipe. It has like mushrooms, marinated artichoke hearts. Sometimes I put like chopped olives in it. Um, chicken, which you can leave that out if you um, are vegetarian or vegan. And then I usually put it over pasta. Did I say mushrooms? It's mushrooms, capers, olives, artichokes, chicken. Um, and then I put that over pasta usually, but I'm trying to I'm gonna be starting Whole30 coming up soon, which I'm hoping to vlog about each day, but I'm starting to slowly transition into being Whole30, so um, I've used up all my pasta and I'm not buying any more, so when I make this meal now, I'm gonna um, not put it over pasta, at least you know while I'm doing the Whole30 thing, but normally I would put it over um, egg noodles, organic egg noodles. Okay, I also got some Nature's Rancher, no sugar added, hickory smoked uncured bacon. And this is raised with no antibiotics, no added growth stimulants, and always vegetarian fed. And it says that it's paleo friendly, gluten free, and no lactose. I got this one in particular because it has the no sugar added. And um, with trying to be Whole30, you can't have any sugar. So I figured why have like if I'm gonna eat sugar when I'm transitioning, I don't really want my bacon, I'd rather it be in my chocolate, so mine as well get no sugar. All right, the next thing I got is the Primal Kitchen Ranch dressing made with avocado oil. This is, it says right on the packaging, Whole30 approved, um, certified paleo, soy and canola free, dairy free, sugar free. So um, I, like I saw Mark Sisson talk at, this is his brand at Paleo FX and you know, I, like always wanted to try out his salad dressings. So my mom recently got this because she's doing the same thing as me with switching to Whole30 and she said it was delicious. So I got this um, for our salads, but also when I make my like carrot french fries or if I just make like homemade potato french fries or sweet potato fries, um, I cannot find any ketchup. I guess I could make my own, but 
I can't find any bottled ketchup that's sugar-free. Let me know if you've ever seen any, but um, I thought I could dip it in this as well. Um, so I got that. I also got his mayonnaise, which I haven't um, tried yet, but I'm excited to try that out with the avocado oil. The next thing I got are two mini jars of the marinated artichoke quarters. These are non-GMO project verified. Sorry, my phone. Um, but I love artichoke. Um, in general like I just used to be one of my favorite foods when I was a kid weird but I'm like obsessed with artichokes so um, I decided to get two jars because usually I get the bigger jar and this didn't really seem like enough artichoke for my whole meal because usually when I cook I cook for about two to three like portions for myself um, so I make like big batches so then I only have to cook every few days the next thing I got was organic cauliflower because um, I've been really loving cauliflower lately I just um, roasted in the oven and it's super yummy then I got some organic carrots this is just a two pound bag and I got this for making my carrot fries that I'm obsessed with let me know if you want a recipe on here I did it on my Instagram story um, I'll link that down below if you want to follow me on Instagram I've started putting like a recipes on my story and things like that just quickly while I'm making them um, but if you want like a full-on recipe on the website or a video let me know um, but I make carrot fries and I've been obsessed with them. I used to hate carrots, but I really like them that way. And then I also add some carrots into my bone broth while I'm cooking it. Um, speaking of that, I got two onions and um, I'm gonna probably put one in my bone broth and one um, I'm gonna use just for cooking with other veggies. All right, the next few things I got are some Lara bars. I actually have, um, I think, two videos yeah, on my channel taste testing Lara bars. One is the fruit flavors and one's the dessert flavors, so I'll link that down below if you wanna check it out, because sometimes it's kind of like stressful to pay at least a dollar if you don't know if it tastes good, so I did a taste test in that video. Um, but anyways, I got some new flavors that I don't usually get because the two flavors I love, which are the peanut butter chocolate chip and then my favorite, the chocolate chip cookie dough, are not Whole30 approved because they have the added sugar and the chocolate chips and possibly added sugar beyond that, but I'm not sure. So I wanted to get some that were Whole30 approved and these are only a dollar today on sale, so that's a pretty good price for Lara bars. It's pretty much the cheapest I found them unless I buy them in bulk. So I got four to try out. I already got the cherry pie and the, um, what was that other one? Apple pie. Um, but I got these ones, banana bread, which I love banana bread in general, so hopefully that's good. Um, chocolate coconut chew. And this actually just has unsweetened cocoa powder, so that'll still be kind of nice when I can't have chocolate on Whole30 to have the unsweetened cocoa powder in this. It'll be like kind of a chocolate flavor still, just not sweetened. But um, coconut cream pie and carrot cake, which this one sounded really good, this carrot cake one. I don't think I've tried this one. I can't remember. I did that taste test like over a year ago, so I can't really remember. Uh, and I was just at the store, so I couldn't really watch my own video. But um, yeah, I got those ones and hopefully they're good. Okay, so the next few things I got are like my treats for tonight um, for watching my shows. And so I was actually thinking the other night how I wanted to make onion dip for the show. Onion dip and clam dip are like what we have every holiday in my family. We, like everyone in my family just loves them. Um, but a lot of those packets to make um, onion dip um, contain MSG um, or other ingredients I'm not comfortable eating. And um, I have a lot of issues with MSG, um, which I think I've talked about on this channel, but um, it really does not go, like my body really does not like it. So I have to be really careful about that. And I was looking at some of the packets and I was just like, I don't know, I don't really want to risk it. And I was like, maybe in the pre-made section they have something and they did, so I'm so excited. But then I was like, the ingredients are going to be bad, like I'm not going to be able to have this. Um, and what I mean by that is like, I will get sick. And this says no secrets in our ingredients. And it says the ingredients are sour cream, caramelized onions, sea salt, onion, um, sugar, canola oil, garlic, and dill. Like, oh my gosh, that is fine. No like weird ingredients, so I'm so excited. Hopefully this tastes good. And then I got my favorite chips for like onion dip. It has to be Ruffles, um, but the Boulder Canyon Avocado Oil Canyon Cut Chips um, just in sea salt. Really like these. They are um, non-GMO, gluten-free, no MSG, no trans fat, kosher, no cholesterol, vegan, low sodium, and green energy. So I really like those. And the only ingredients are potatoes, avocado oil, and sea salt. So I am so excited about this. And then for like a dessert, um, I've been really trying to cut down on my sugar, but 
I'm like, I really wanted to get a dessert for tonight and I wanted something that was like one time eating so I don't have like, you know, a pint of ice cream in my house or like something like that. So I found this Three Fellers Gourmet Gluten-Free Chocolate Cream Pie. I am obsessed with chocolate cream pie um, and I'm from Boston so we have like Boston cream pie. So this kind of looked like Boston cream pie. It doesn't have like as much like of the like, um, like vanilla cream, but um, I don't know. The ingredients seemed fine, I think, and it does have a lot of sugar. It's like 17 grams for this thing, so I might not eat the whole thing, but let's be real, it probably will. So I'm hoping that this is good because it was pretty expensive. It was like almost $5. So I hope that's good um, and I'm really excited. And then the next thing I got was this huge thing of mushrooms. These are local to Texas. And um, I think it was like a dollar more for this and it was like double the size of the small one. So I love mushrooms. So I just got this and I'll put that in that little meal I make with the artichokes and everything. And I'll just like eat them in pretty much anything else or just plain um, because I love mushrooms. Um, then I got these Dr. Prager's four potato hash browns. They're red, gold, purple, and sweet potato shredded into hash brown perfection. And these were on sale for $3.99 and you get eight hash browns, which is pretty good. They're non-GMO and also gluten-free. Um, my mom got these in like the root vegetable ones and she said they were pretty good for breakfast. So I'm. it's really been hard for me to try to transition for breakfast because I don't really like eggs or like sometimes I do, but sometimes they like gross me out. So I'm just trying to find some things that I can have for breakfast. This is not Whole30 approved though because it does have expeller pressed canola oil in it, but that's the only thing um, that wasn't good in this. So I just figured I would get it while I'm not strictly doing Whole30. And then if I like it, I can just make my own version of that. I got a bunch of like little garlics, if you can see, because they were super tiny. Um, they're actually organic garlic. It was all they had. So I got four bunches of garlic because I use a lot of garlic in cooking and I've been eating it for medicinal purposes. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then the last thing that I got is four organic russet potatoes. These were only 89 cents a pound. So I decided to get those and I'll probably make like french fries or roasted potatoes and onions or I don't know I love potatoes so I can pretty much use them for so many things so that is all that I got today I hope you guys liked this haul um, let me know if you want to see more like this I love filming grocery hauls and watching them so I'd be happy to do that um, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video bye